Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for today's video. And as you guys can tell by the title, we got an XR80, an XR100, and we're gonna talk about these two bikes. Now an opportunity has presented itself and I'm gonna take advantage of it. So in today's video, let's go ahead and we're just gonna talk about some of the differences between an XR80 and the XR100 after taking them both out on the trail. And at the end of the video, you guys will see some riding video comparing the two bikes. Now I was fortunate enough to have a friend go ahead and lend me his XR80. Now this is a 2002 model. This is my 2003 XR100. and uh, I figured since I have the bike here and we went out and took it out for a ride, I'd go ahead and give you guys kind of like a comparison between the two bikes. Now, the first thing you guys can tell, obviously right off the get-go, is that this one has the smaller tires front and rear compared to the XR100, which uh, does make it quite a bit smaller uh, for overall ground clearance, as well as the seat height of the bike compared to the XR100. So the XR80 does have a 17 inch front tire and a 14 inch rear tire compared to the XR's 19 inch front tire and a 16 inch rear tire. Now, if you're looking to try and like choose between one of these two bikes to buy for yourself there's a couple things i've taken into consideration with those things i've just mentioned now if you're going to be taking this out on some like rough trails uh you're definitely going to want the xr100 with the larger wheel set as it just gives you a heaps more ground clearance and the first thing i noticed when i was taking out the xr80 on the trails is that this thing was just bottoming it out and you you pretty much hit it and smashed it on everything because of how low of ground clearance it has so i would say the xr100 is definitely well suited for someone that's like a full-size adult compared to the xr80 is great for someone who's like more of a child or I'd say it's based for someone that's gonna be like riding in the field or just around like on a pit bike track like something where there's not big rocks and nuggets to be hitting up in the skid plate which is great at least at the XR80 and both the 100 do come with skid plates so those are great little bonuses that they both come with skid plates now the next thing I noticed is that the suspension on the XR80 is definitely set up for someone even lighter than the XR100 suspension as well as that the front travel on the front fork is a lot less and there's quite a bit more travel on the front of the XR100 fork compared to the XR80 fork. Now as we come around to the rear shock of both these dirt bikes, relative speaking, they look the same and uh, they kind of feel the same to me. The XR80 definitely has some softer suspension on it and not as much travel as the XR100. Now when we're talking about power comparisons between the 80 and the 100cc, got more cc's behind it so it should have a little bit more torque uh, and you can definitely notice it that this does have some more pep in its step now it's not much granted it is only 100 cc's but compared to the 80 the 100 is quite a bit quicker and you really notice it when you're in fourth or fifth gear on the 80 and uh, you're trying to just wind it out and it really is, feels like you're like searching for another gear to keep going faster and it just doesn't have it now they both are five speed transmissions so they are the same in that regard but the uh, xr100 definitely feels like it has a higher top speed and definitely gets there quicker now the next thing that you might not notice and you wouldn't even think about to think about when you're trying to choose between these two dirt bikes is the actual distance between the shifter and the peg on the XR80 is definitely closer together which is definitely meant for someone who's got a small foot uh, so trying to fit a motocross boot on with the XR80 shifter is quite a bit harder than it is with the XR100. The XR100 definitely gives you some extra like distance between the peg and the shifter to fit a full-size boot. This one's like right on the edge of like you barely can fit a boot uh, especially if you have some larger feet. Now I thought it would actually be interesting to see and actually measure out the seat heights of these two bikes and let's see what the actual difference is in ground clearance and actual seat height. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take some measurements and see what the difference is between really the only difference is like the seats. I'm pretty sure the seats are identical. The plastics look identical but well, let's go ahead. I'm going to pop some measurements and uh, let's see what the geometry size difference is, ground clearance, seat height and all the above. We'll go ahead and we'll start with seat height. This looks like it's right in between 31 and 32 inches. Now we measure the seat height of the XR80 and we're on the same high side like the other bike. This one's like right on 29 inches. So you can see how much taller the XR seat actually is on the 100cc compared to the 80. You're gonna gain about two to three inches of seat height, which can make quite a difference as it's really changing, you know, how far your legs are hanging down and whether or not you can reach the ground with your feet. The XR80 is definitely more suitable for someone who's shorter and not as tall. So now let's go ahead and let's check out the ground clearance difference between the two. So on the lowest spot on the ADCC, it's about eight inches from the ground from its lowest spot on the skid plate. So let's go ahead and hop over to the 100. And at the lowest spot on the 100cc, you've got about 11 inches of ground clearance. So this is how much you have on the 100cc and that's how much you have on the 80cc. So that's quite a substantial 
uh, three inches there is that's almost a third of like its total ground clearance that you're gaining on top from the AD going up to the 100 cc. Now the next thing I went over and checked is the actual handlebar width. Now on the XR100, the handlebars are 30 inches wide compared to the XR80 and that only has a 28 inch wide handlebar. So the handlebars are wider, which definitely suits a taller, wider, bigger rider on the XR100. But keep in mind, these are both stock handlebars and you can upgrade both of them to be wider, narrower, taller, shorter, whatever you like, of course. But if you're keeping them stock, buying them stock, just keep in mind that the XR80 does have narrower handlebars. Now let's go ahead and check the height on the handlebars. Four and a half inches on the XR80. You're sitting at right at five inches. So they're about half inch taller on the XR100 and two inches wider. Now it's a very slight difference, but this one does have a manual kind of like big, huge metal choke lever. And on the XR100, you get a bit of an upgrade to a nicer uh, choke switch here. That's a three stage choke. Now, something else that I was curious in checking out is seeing if the rear swing arm lengths are different in between 20 and a quarter to a 20 and a half inches long. This is uh, a fraction under 19. So we're at like 18 and three quarter inches length on the XR80. So it does in fact have a much shorter swing arm. Now, before we hop into the trails, I will say the last thing that I noticed that was different when you're actually riding this out on the trails is how much just like snappier it is on turn in on the XR80 as it wants to turn in sharper and tighter. And it makes sense now knowing that this front suspension is like shorter and the rear swing arm is shorter. So it makes it want to be more twitchy, but you'll lose some of that straight speed stability. So it's kind of a trade off. But other than that, let's go ahead and I'll see you guys out on the trail uh, with the two bikes going riding. So I'll see you there. Yeah, so we're not on the XR100 today. As you can see, we're on something kind of the same, but different. This is a, uh, we're riding an XR80, and this thing is mini. This thing's got 14 inch front tire or something. Whoa! Or maybe a 17 inch front, I think. No, it's a, oh shit. That's new. Whoa, a bunch of tree fall. It's an absolutely soaking wet day. We got Dom the Bomb Bouchard with us. So yeah, it's an absolutely soaking wet day out. So slippery, especially with these little tiny tires. I wonder if you guys are gonna be able to see anything today. Up we go. Yeah! I know it's hard. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Yeah, Dom the bomb. This is so slick in here today. <laughs> this is wild. Oh, you good? Oh, you slid it. Oh, you hit the log in the yeah. bush. Yeah. And your drink spout out. Yeah, I hit that. Oh yeah, she's raining. Yeah. And he's up and away. Oh. Well, I've kind of forgot about this. 